harmonic basses, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to give one of your family members a bass lesson. So this can be your siblings, your parents, your grandparents, anybody that lives in your house. Don't break quarantine to teach somebody a bass lesson, okay? Um, so to get started, obviously pick a family member who wants to learn, bring them over. Um, and then you need to set up the base for their height, right? It might be hard if you've got a super teeny tiny base and the person who wants to learn is super tall. Um, but just do the best you can with what you got. So setting up the base, you want the base to be at a height so that this first finger position is eye level, right? And that also takes into account that the base isn't too straight standing up and it's not too leaned over, right? You don't want to play like this. So have it about here, just at a little bit of an angle. And first finger, first position should be at eye level, okay? So how to hold the instrument. You want to find this back corner, right? Um, so right side of the bass, back corner, and tell your family member that they want to balance that corner in between their belly button and their hip. Okay, so right here, kind of where this belt loop is. So you want to balance that corner. And eventually, when you're really good, you should be able to let go of it, and it'll balance on its own. <laughs> so uh, practice that with them. Um, next, you're going to show them how to hold their left hand, right? So take your thumb, tell them to take their thumb, left thumb, and plant that thumb on the back of the neck, kind of like right in the middle, right? And they want to have a nice curve to their thumb. You don't want like a super flat thumb. You don't want it looking like that. Um, so a little curve of the thumb. And you want to act kind of like you're holding a soda can, right? So grab a can of soda, place that thumb right there, and this is kind of the handhold you want. Now pay attention to your elbow. You don't want it way up in the sky like that, and you definitely don't want it resting on your base like that. You have a little swan arm. So kick that elbow up, hold it kind of like a 90 degree angle to your shoulder, right? Um, and you want to keep these fingers curved, of course. So practice just like messing around a little on there. Um, next, you're going to show your family member how to hold the bow, okay? So, remind them that this thumb should always be bent, right? You don't want any straight thumbs because that will cause pain later on. So bend that thumb, stick it kind of in between the frog, and you should have a little um, gripper right there. So, thumb right in there, and it could, should kind of rest on the corner of your thumb thumbnail on the inside. So right there, and these fingers kind of flop down and flop over. Just kind of a natural rest on there. Um, and then you are going to place it on the string for them and have your family member try bowing, but you're going to hold the bow for them and show them what it feels like to bow in a straight path, right? So this is your hand, this is their hand. Make sure it's not going up like this or down like this and it's staying just on one string. Alright? And check them to make sure that this arm isn't too straight like this. That's not how we play bass, right? You don't want it like flopping all over the place because then we're going to play like this. So kind of that nice balance, right? Alright, and let's review plucking real quick. So put your bow back down, have them take their right hand, their right thumb, and kind of an inch or two above the end of the fingerboard, plant that thumb on the side, okay? Then take your first finger, grab that string, and just do a little pull. Try, have them try plucking all of the open strings. Um, now, show them how to pluck and put a left hand finger down at the same time. So, 
help them find where A on the G string is. Okay, so show them where to place that first finger and remember everything we talked about with our left hand posture. Place that finger down and have them pluck this string. Now try going back and forth between open string and first finger. And they can even try plucking with their second finger on their right hand too. And walking back and forth between the fingers. Or plucking at the same time. That's my favorite way to pluck personally. I just think there's a lot of power behind it. All right, um, so we reviewed how to hold the bow, and now that we know where that A is, let's try bowing that A. Now try bowing back and forth between open G and A. spread your hand to the right amount, right? If you don't spread it enough, it's really out of tune. If you spread it too far, it's super out of tune as well, right? So you gotta find that spot and always remember that when you've got your fourth finger down, all of the lower fingers are down too. So you don't have fourth finger down and then have these hanging out down here or flying away because then it's really hard on your pinky finger and it'll hurt over time. So always place all four fingers down when you've got your pinky down. Practice going back and forth from A to B. Now practice going back and forth from G to A. song goes, right? Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. La 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 la. Where did the lyrics? I don't know. Um, yeah, so, so we've got B A G A B B B. And you can figure it out from there, right? to use at what part. So this would be like four, one, zero, one, four, 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 one, 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 and so on. And then you're gonna help them play it. And your assignment for this video, uh, film one of your family members trying to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And it's okay if it's not perfect, but what matters is that you tried to teach them and it's fun, right? So have fun with that and great job this week everybody. Bye.